Another 100,000 rounds of ammunition will be sent to Ukraine in July and August thanks to the Czech initiative, Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lepavsky said on Monday. During July and August we will send another 100,000 rounds of ammunition. We are now looking for money to purchase new ammunition so that the initiative can be continued in 2025, Lepavsky was quoted as saying by the Sesk Novini Agency. According to the minister, at the moment 18 countries have joined the initiative, of which 15 have already fulfilled their obligations and made their contribution. He explained that this means that there are enough funds to deliver 500,000 rounds of ammunition to Ukraine by the end of the year. On June 25th, Prime Minister Petra Fiala announced that the Czech Republic had supplied Ukraine with the first batch of artillery shells in accordance with the Czech aid program to Kiev. Previously, he announced that the Czech Republic had already entered into contracts for the supply of 180,000 artillery shells to Ukraine. The total of 500,000 rounds planned for this year has already been financially secured. The Czech initiative aims to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with 50,000 to 100,000 large-caliber shells monthly, significantly boosting Ukraine's artillery capabilities amidst ongoing conflict. This effort represents a substantial commitment from the Czech Republic in supporting Ukraine's defense needs and highlights the continued international cooperation in providing military aid to the country. Ukraine improves sea baby drones. There are no safe places in Black Sea for Russian fleet. Ukrainian intelligence agencies have reported that the improved Sea Baby drones can now carry more than 1,000 kilograms of explosives and cover a distance of more than 1,000 kilometers. Navy spokesman Dmitry Pletenchuk says they can now hit targets anywhere in the Black Sea. This means that the shelter for Russian ships in Novorossiysk is becoming quite conditional. It means that leaving this shelter is quite dangerous because at such a distance they can already be reached. This means that tactics should essentially boil down to hiding at this base, waiting for drones to start reaching it, he said on the telethon. Overall, this means that there are no safe places left for the Russian fleet in the Black Sea, but the enemy takes all this into account. As the speaker emphasized, one should not think that the Russians are completely calm about this danger. For example, recently they have been sending out to sea, as a rule, only submarines. If a surface missile carrier enters the water area to launch cruise missiles or to make an interbase transition, then everything is done incredibly quickly. An example of this is the shelling from the ship Admiral Makarov, which last time left the base for only an hour to fire and immediately returned to Novorossiysk. Because there are boom barriers, observation posts the ability to at least somehow hide, Pletenchuk said. He specified that the Russians protect their bases, including in Novorossiysk, with the help of air patrols. The aviation component is very widespread. Its main task is to search and destroy drones. Something hangs in the air around the clock in a certain quantity, the speaker said. He also admitted that the Russians also have drones. They have already used them, but a long time ago. Moreover, the enemy does not make a secret of this, even last year they demonstrated them in public. According to Pletenchuk, one of them is Dandelion, which looks like a converted jet ski. The military man also does not rule out that the occupiers will try to copy Ukrainian drones, including Sea Baby. The enemy is constantly learning, trying to copy the best experience, the best practices that he has experienced. Therefore, we should expect that sooner or later they will definitely copy this idea, technology, and they will try to apply it. Therefore, this must be taken seriously, Pletenchuk emphasized.